Hey there, welcome back family, welcome to Tuesday in the Void. Um, you guys are lucky, y'all getting so many reads today. But I just had to finish y'all off with a nice 24 hour reading to get y'all through the, the end of the week. Um, and I'm so excited to do so, so let's just hop on in. Cleaning y'all space, because I feel like there's a lot of fuckery going on in the world. You know, that's trying to come through. So let's see what spirit has up for you guys in the next 24 hours. I definitely just cut to the death card. So there's a death, okay? That 10 of pentacles is still at the bottom of the deck. I also cut to the wheel of fortune. So I feel like you guys are gonna go through a big death this weekend in the next 24 hours. It's gonna lead you guys to lots of wealth and legacy, right? So let's see what you guys got going on for the next 24 hours. Thank you, spirit. Woo. Okay, so first things first, the numbers, three, five, three, add that all up and you have 11. So 11 is about illumination. It's about mirroring, okay? It's, it's the mirroring that allows us to be illuminated, right? To see the bigger picture and to just kind of really get a grasp on how things really are. Uh, so let's just dig into these cards, okay? So first we have three of wands, okay? Suit of fire. So I feel like the inner desire and passion within you, Virgo, is going to be leading you to uh, to a great expansion, okay? I just saw 144. I feel like it's going to be leading you to a great ex expansion. I feel like the, the part, your soul fragments are literally coming back together. You're getting uh, more connected to your spirit guides, your ancestors, to your higher self. Okay, the parts of yourself may ha not have known, but all of that is happening in behind the veil, you know, in the in the five D in the higher dimensions. Okay, this is a state of mind. Okay, but uh, just to put it plain, I feel like you're gonna go through some type of growth, like this exponential growth over the next twenty four hours, and with that growth is gonna come some water, some some emotional turmoil for someone. Okay, with this five of cups, someone's going to feel a loss and a disappointment. I just saw two, three, four. So thank you, spirit. Thank you so much. Uh, but that is a confirmation that that steps in the right direction here with this message. But there's going to be some loss associated with your growth, which is like a normal thing for you at this point, Virgo, because every time you grow, you seem to really those people who are just not for you just seem to kind of fall off naturally. And that's how we that's what we want. OK, that's that's a good thing. And it leaves you with some grounded earth energy okay with this three of pentacles this is going to lead you right to work and right to a, a place of building with some people who you're meant to be around okay and it might just be like it might be like two people i don't usually get that with the three of uh pentacles usually i just get teamwork in general but like i'm looking at spirits drawing my eyes to these three wills so it's like Three people that are, that are going through their wheel of fortune, okay, just saw 333, a very masculine number about creation and um, action, okay? You guys, you and maybe two other people, perhaps, this could be spirit guides included, okay? Could be in a space of fortune and you're going to come together and do some work and get some work done. That's beautiful. Death card at the bottom of the deck. This is a transformation for you. I feel like spirit is helping you today and, and throughout these, these next few hours and just the day in general and over the past few days trying to leave something behind so that you can allow yourself to transition into something new and better for you, which makes a lot of sense, okay? Because why wouldn't you want to transition? You don't want to resist that. Why is the... Ooh, okay, I'm not taking those. Why is the five of cups here? Who's going to be disappointed? Who's going to be feeling a loss? Try to give us a sign, Pray Spirit. Some information, perhaps a zodiac sign. You don't have to be that specific. I just saw the moon card at the bottom of the deck. So maybe it's not that clear for a reason. Wow, six of wands. Wow, and it, and it fell out in the reverse, but I picked it up in the upright. So to me, that says a lot. I just saw four, four, four. This is Spirit actively literally helping you protect your foundation that you've been working so diligently and so passionately to to build and to cultivate 
So as you grow, you're going to lose somebody. This could be a fire sign, okay? But either way it goes, you're going to have victory and reward as you grow, as you expand. But the, the reason I think this came out in the reverse as well, I don't think Spirit gave us a, a zodiac sign, though that could that could resonate for someone who sees this video. There's a good couple hundred people who watch these. So make sure you're only taking what fits you, okay? Because you don't want to just, you know, I don't want anybody on this channel uh, or come to tune into this channel, you know, take every word I'm saying and think it applies to their situation because that's just not the truth. Spirit, I always ask Spirit to give information to those who need it most, okay? Those who will benefit from the information the most, those who are actually working to make these changes and not just trying to just hold on to shit you know what i'm saying so i feel like someone's gonna lose you and it's like it causes them to have this excess of pride like it's prideful you hurt their pride their ego when you when you expand it and you said okay whatever i don't need you they feel like you're not recognizing them they feel like they aren't getting any uh i just heard that they feel entitled to your victory and reward they feel like they should be rewarded alongside you they feel like they're being punished by you leaving them behind yeah yeah we have ace of wands at the bottom of the deck so you're just going through a whole rebirth with it with your with your passion with your fire element okay why is three of pentacles here why is three of pentacles here give us some information about this three of pentacles please great spirit thank you i was kind of a lot of cards we're gonna breeze through them yeah i feel like wow okay very interesting set of cards we have four cards here four is about security protection foundation all of those things right all those wonderful things um so the prince of cups is about somebody's ability to be calm and rational and uh compassionate towards people very emotionally mature and balanced uh kind of energy uh, but then we also have the seven of pentacles here. So I feel like someone is maturely fighting through some kind of icky situation that they may have just found themselves in in the material world. Okay. And they, they may not see the way forward. Okay. With the moon card here, but they're using their intuition and, and, and making some moves in this work situation with you, Virgo. They want to work on something with you, uh, a project, a passionate uh, endeavor with you even though they have their own shit that they're fig that they're going through themselves they're maturely handling it emotionally they don't know the way forward they just they dug themselves out of a damn dark place a hole okay look at the seven of pentacles you see those murky uh bushes that's like being lost in the forest at night after it rain and you ain't got no rain boots so you're just muddy and you're trying to get through the forest and you can't see shit but they are leaning on their intuition because they have hope with the star card here. I just saw 808. This could be a part of your soul tribe. I feel like this is someone in your soul tribe. Oh, oh blessings rain down on me for eternity. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this could be an air sign, an Aquarius person sign. It really doesn't matter. That's what Spirit just said to me. But this person just has hope. So if you come in contact with somebody in the next 24 hour who they may not be talking about their issues, they might not be talking about their problems uh, all that much, but you know that they're just in this mode where they're like, let's just create something. Let's just make something. Let's do something. Uh, let's figure out some plans about some things. That is what you're going to want to gravitate towards. And whoever is feeling <laughs> in a feelings, okay, I just see an attitude, a little funky ass little attitude about you leaving somebody behind. And, and, and people like that, they don't, they don't care. They just want to be a part of your victory and rewards. Yeah, but this thing you're going to work on with these people or this person is definitely going to bring you abundance. You're going to be so happy. Y'all are all going to be so emotionally content. I feel like if you, all of these partners in this work, this work grounded work situation are, are kind of working through their, their icky kind of feelings or whatever, it's going to bring you guys so much emotional fulfillment to work on something and see it receive victory and reward that it's going to help you uh, grow uh, as people and, and in abundance uh, emotionally and materially. That's just what I'm getting here. All right. So... I'll leave this out. Just saying, I'm gonna put all the clarifiers back. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like even in the recent past, Virgo, you have been growing. It may not feel like it because you may just feel alone and kind of icky about just always being by yourself. I feel like you're feeling that sting of being a, such a hermit, but it's really a blessing. Really, it is to be able to be a hermit. Just think of all the people who can't even be by themselves. And even if they are by themselves, they don't know how to find peace by themselves or even utilize that time uh, for something um constructive uh, or productive for themselves and here you are you you go down as the hermit and you reemerge as a fucking phoenix and i'm just like whoa how do they do that like how do they do that and then they're all sad so like damn i bet you virgo finna stop fucking with me i bet you they finna stop fucking with me and as soon as you do they're giving you attitude about it right but nah, now you're working with people who are more like you virgo anything else going on in the next 24 hours please very spirit for virgo Anything else happening in the next 24 hours? Give us the near future, please. Yeah. Something's going to crush you, Virgo. Or, you know, it's going to crush, like, something's going to attempt, rather, to crush your spirit, your energy with this Ten of Swords. Somebody's trying to put Ten of Swords in your fucking back. And I say that with so much passion because it's so irritating that people like this really exist. I grabbed the wrong card. <laughs> but yeah, it's just annoying. It's like right when you're on your way, you're good. It's like someone's trying to come in and cause you to my some, some type of defeat. They're trying to collapse what you got going on. They're trying to cause you to fail. These are the worst kind of people. They ain't got shit better to do with their time. We're going to get some more information on that. But we also have the Four of Cups that came out with it. I feel like somebody's trying to play on your emotions, Virgo. They're trying to play on your emotions. They know your heart is open. They know you're trying to, to, to give and, and be open. They know that you don't like to have a hard heart. So they're thinking of ways to bring you defeat and collapse and failure. And make you feel disconnected with your emotions and disconnected with with the happiness that you do have coming in like yeah you are sad about some lo like i don't even think this is you that's sad about some losses i feel like someone else and even if this is you in the in the present moment right now virgo don't allow anybody to play off your emotions they want you to go backwards we got the five of cups here right underneath we have the four they want you to go backwards they want to hurt your feelings and cause you to keep receding in that way to where you just feel bored and just over life they want it's almost like they want to bring you down to their level i just heard bring you down to their level bring you down to their frequency of depression and sadness and and I just saw 13, 13, oh, I'm sorry, not 13, 13, just 13. And that's about death and rebirth. So I feel like that is what spirit is, 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 is deading for you and bringing to a close and helping you to end so that you can tr transition out of this phase or out of that phase and not keep putting yourself on this spinning wheel of doing that type of shit or allowing yourself to get to that place. Yeah, devil, devil. This is nothing but devil energy all up in the background like let me just wait for the moment where i could just let me just mentally come up with a way that i could just fuck virgo up emotionally they thought they were sad then let me really make them sad now i want them to be sad that's what i'm getting it's so clear too ten of swords why is this here what are the ways tell us about the ten of swords they want me to take the first card yeah they're trying to make you feel like you have no fortune like the Wheel of Fortune is not turning in your favor. Like you have bad luck. They want to make you feel like no matter how good things happen for you, there's always going to be something coming through that's 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 going to interrupt your fortune. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You have so many opportunities coming your way for gain, money. <laughs> they know the will is turning in your favor and that you just keep getting fired up. It's nothing that can keep you down, Virgo. But there's this devil energy that's like, I bet you I can make fuck Virgo up. I bet you I can take them off their square. I bet you I can uh, separate them from their fortune. I bet you. That's how they feel. The next 24 hours, someone's going to come through trying to do this to you. Yeah, but you're on the move. You're on the move and you're going to skirt right past it. You're going to skate right past it, Virgo. You're on the fucking move. 
you're on the move. If you guys are dreaming about driving a car or taking a flight, anything like that, you're on the move, okay? You have so many opportunities coming your way in the next 24 hours, especially. So look out, especially for somebody coming through, trying to sneak you in the next 24 hours. I just saw 1515. Literally, it's so clear. Even if the shit does happen, recognize that that's what happened and go, yeah, you're not going to fucking piss me off. Okay, yeah, you pulled your little stunt. <laughs> but you you cannot, you, you have not affected me. They're not going to be prepared for that. They they really have it in their minds thinking like, damn, Virgo, like, how might they try and do this? I know they're trying to get you to fall, like, emotionally receive. I feel like there's somebody who hurt you recently and they want to just hurt you some more. Yeah, I see the nine of the a Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person is going to go in slow. They're going to, like, go in slow. They might start off being normal or whatever. You want to take that and then they could just... They could, this is a possibility as well, guys. They might see this reading if they're a cross watcher or see some other readings and go, damn, I, I got to do another approach. I got to try next week. You know, I don't know. Next week going to be too late. They ain't going to have access to you. They're not even going to be able to talk to you, call you because you're going to be on the fucking move. You're going to be somewhere completely different. And they know this. That's why they're coming through. They feel that the time is now and they're like, I have to act right now. And they have a plan, damn it. They have a plan. What is this plan? Woo. Thank you, spirit. The plan is to oppress you. Oppress you. Your fire. They want to drain your fucking life force energy. That's the best way. They want to come and bring you happiness. That's what they want. They want to oppress you from your happiness. They want to oppress you from seeking your happiness and being this queen of swords, protecting yourself. They want you to take your guard down. They're going to probably try and make you happy and, and make you feel like you could take your guard down just so they can deplete you. I keep hearing sex, so you guys might not want to have sex with nobody in the next 24 hours. I'm just saying you guys can wait 24 hours, okay? Seriously. Because they're going to come through and try to wind and die and make you happy. Let you. They want you to put your sword away, lay down, put the sword away. Oh, can you put my sword in the sheath? Thank you. Then they're just going to drain you. Get you in your feelings. Get you feeling all loose and happy. Look at this. Abundant. Happy. Dancing in the fucking basket in the sun in the field. And then right when you're feeling like that, they're going to rip you right down. That's their plan. That's all I have for you. Let's get some, let's get some advice with the evolution cards. Why is it? Give us some advice, please, Great Spirit. Ooh, so many of these trying to pop out. They're like, I'll tell you what to do. Give us some advice, please, Great Spirit, from the... From the evolution deck. Yeah, silence. I can't make it up. Silence fly out for y'all every time. That's why I take flyers. You cannot, like, come on. Silence. They want you to pay attention. Pay attention, honey. Support. Ask them for some support specifically from your guides. Tell your guys, guys, watch over me in the next 24 hours. Let's keep me on guard. Anytime I have a moment of silence to myself, even if you're hanging out with somebody who might be a culprit, go in the bathroom, go down the street, take a, take a say, oh, I gotta go take a call. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna walk over here for a second. And you take that time and, and really think, take, take a moment for silence. Cause that's when your guys are gonna be like, look, look, let me tell you the tea, right? Get some support from your guides. Those are your trusted posse, your trusted team, all right? Keep your priorities in order, okay? Keep your desires first and, like, right at the front. And have the courage to go through the damn situation because you guys may just need to go through this. And I see five cards here, so this is major change. This, is, this happening to you is going to teach you a lesson. And it's going to boost you. It's funny because that's how you keep coming out, like, as the fucking, you're a phoenix. People cannot snuff you out. They can't put out your fire. It literally just makes you go harder. As soon as you uncover who it is and what their intentions are, there's nothing for you to think about after that. There's nothing for you to feel about after that or wonder about. You'll just know, yeah, I got to stop doing this and I got to move on now. So that's literally what's going to happen to you guys. And I'm so stoked to, you know, to be the one to tell you, to be honest, in any other ways that you were told. Okay, so what is the energy of this person that's coming around Virgo? What's the energy of this person? What is the energy that this person is going to have, please, Grace Spirit, coming around, Virgo? 
What energy are they going to have? Thank you. No. They gave me your energy, Virgo. <laughs> what energy is this person going to be in when they try and come and fuck with Virgo? Go Virgo off their square. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Very interesting card. We're going to be coming through as the Joan of Arc. As Joan of Arc, okay? If they're single, if y'all have a real light, single kind of relationship with each other, they're going to be coming through. It says, only settle for eternity. They're going to come through like they have lifelong, infinite intentions for you. They're going to come through like they're your soul tribe or like they're supposed to be on your journey with you. And that's because they feel like they should be a part of your of your fucking, your, your fortune. That's the only reason that they feel like they should be around. They know that you're on that, that eternity shit, that soul tribe shit. They know that you're a spiritual person, Virgo. They know how highly esteemed uh, people in your life are if you view them as soul tribe. So that's what they're going to come through and try to act like. Okay, if you are in a relationship with this person or just getting out of a relationship with this person, it says love and faith will defeat violence. So they're going to try to be on some real, baby, have faith. Don't you love me? Don't you trust that this can work? Don't you have faith? That, that'll that help us get through all the bullshit. I know we done been through some bullshit. I know I may have, I may have uh, hurt your feelings. It's a like violence. They know they probably try to put their hands on you at some point. Y'all probably get have a tumultuous relationship and they're trying to hit you with the love and the faith. Have faith. I love you. Okay? Soul tribe, friends and family. It says, be not afraid of fire and arrows or anything that may come. So they're going to try to tell you, look, I know it feel bad right now, but trust me, it's good. We go through shit. Like, we're supposed to go through hard shit. This is supposed to hurt. Don't be afraid of that. They're going to try to make you comfortable in their violence. So that's what I have for you guys, and I really hope that helped. Be on the lookout. Peace. <laughs>